Hey, it's makeup artist James Vincent here in New York City at the Makeup Forever Pro Boutique. And I am here getting ready for the makeup show Orlando. But what I wanted to do before this show was show you very easily how you can take a few products and get a very dramatic difference in your makeup application. I've got Erica here in my chair and I am so excited because Makeup Forever is coming into Orlando with some perfect products for the Makeup Pro. Makeup Forever US and their pro department really understand the needs of the working makeup artists, whether you're working in bridal, editorial, fashion, whether you're working in uh, working with everyday women or you are working in the highest caliber of entertainment. Certain things remain the same and that is that complexion has got to be floorless. In this age of HD, my accent's coming out, in this age of HD and 4K and 6K cameras where everything is being captured, it is more important than ever that we have products in our kit that meet our needs and Makeup Forever has managed to do that for over 30 years. It is no secret that Makeup Forever has been my sponsor for over 15 years and I'm so excited about the new product that they're bringing to the table. So what I want to show you today are a few of the new products that you can use to transform your clients and a few of my all-time favorites. How does that sound? So I want to start with complexion. Makeup Forever Ultra HD is once again changing the game. Danny Sands really understands what the camera captures. What you need to understand is that Danny developed the Makeup Forever line to meet the needs of her students. As an educator and as an artist herself, she really understands the needs of the pro. And when you understand the needs of the pro and you understand the camera, it allows you to develop product that work in any and every situation. Ultra HD Foundation launched with us at the Makeup Show New York last year and we had Danny on stage and she shared a few of her secrets with us for complexion. And one of the things that she talked about a lot was that she understands that Makeup Forever is no longer just a Parisian based line, it is international. And so she has developed an Ultra HD line with over 44 shades that meet the needs of every customer. And what I'm gonna do is start off with a little bit of the Ultra HD foundation and the Radiant Primer to bring Erica's skin where I need to with just a touch of product. You know, I have a very light hand. I don't like to see a lot of makeup on the skin. So I'm starting with the Radiant Primer in Caramel. And I'm using a very soft brush. The firmer and denser a brush is, the more color it's gonna deposit. So using a very soft shadow brush allows me to build product up in a way that will photograph better, but look better in real life. Let's be honest with each other. We are all living in an HD world. Even if you're taking selfies on your iPhone, you've got to think about what that camera is capturing. And so by using a softer brush, it gives me more time to build. I've already started uh, on Erica's left eye, and now I'm gonna go in on the right eye. I'm using two sides of the brush. I'm using the Makeup Forever 218 brush, and I'm using both the tip of the brush and the flat of the brush to deposit and blend. Just look right up. So when I'm working with blue discoloration, what you will find with a lot of women of color, especially African women, African American women, Indian women, women from the island diasporas, when you neutralize that blue, you really don't need to bring much foundation in there. So I'm starting with the caramel under the eye. And it's very subtle, so I don't even know if the camera will capture it. But what that's going to do is neutralize that discoloration that can be a distraction. One of the biggest things we've got to think about as a makeup artist is how are we canceling out distraction? It isn't always about adding. Sometimes makeup is subtractive. We need to look at the face in front of us and say, what do I need to do here to make this face look its best? And sometimes there's just canceling out something that's pulling our eye. The next product that I'm going to use is Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. And I'm using a yellow shade, Y505. Again, I'm gonna use that on a very soft brush. I'm gonna take it on a spatula. And a little bit goes a long way with this product. What I love about the Ultra HD product is it really allows me to build. It isn't always about going in with a full coverage. I think in this age of keeping up with Kardashians and reality TV and this new I don't even know about this new Real Housewives series where they all look crazy. I feel like we're being punked. I really want to keep it very sheer. So here I'm using the Makeup Forever 406 straight brush. 
And I'm, again, I'm using the flat of the brush and the tip of the brush, and I'm gonna use that to deposit and blend. But I'm only gonna bring that into the areas where I want to get rid of discoloration, and for me, that tends to be in the center of the face. I'm depositing with the tip of the brush and blending out with the flat of the brush. And because I want to keep this makeup very natural, I'm only using a small amount of product. What I love about this brush is it also allows me to get into the little creases around the nose, which is my pet peeve. And I'm also bringing a bit of foundation right over the primer that I already placed. You can also do a lot of detailing with Ultra HD foundation. It works as a concealer, it works as a color corrector. So here I'm using a very small brush, Makeup Forever number 300, with the same Ultra HD foundation. And what I'm gonna do here is bring it right around the lip to give me a very natural highlight. Because I'm keeping this makeup so minimal, that's really gonna allow me to get the natural highlight. And then I'm just gonna blend it into place. There is no magic in the makeup. There is no magic in the tool. It really comes down to you choosing the right product and manipulating it into place. The job of the professional makeup artist is to design, apply, and maintain a makeup. And when you're choosing the right makeup and the right tools, you can do it pretty effortlessly. So Erica already had a little bit of blush on. I'm also bringing a bit of foundation over that. And then with just a few products, I'm gonna add in some color. One of my favorite ways to work is with Makeup Forever's flash color cases. Makeup Forever brings these once again to the makeup show this year. They were out of stock for a while because my artists love them, but they will be back with Makeup Forever in Orlando at a special pro price. Makeup Forever is giving a 40% discount if you buy over five, two products, you get 50% off. So it's 40% for one, 50% off of two. May, who uh, oversees all of the pro is off camera, giving me some tips because I'm not good with numbers. Math is hard. <laughs> I'm gonna go back in with my spatula. I'm using the other side of the spatula. And what I'm gonna do here is take one of my favorite shades. When we started the application, Erica had a bit of blush on and I blended it down. I'm gonna bring it onto my palette and I'm going in with my same number 300 brush and I'm just going to use it to flush the lip and the cheek. The trick with blush is to make it look like it's glowing from within. The flash color cases are ideal for taking your makeup and adjusting it. If you've got a foundation that is too red, you can pop in a bit of yellow. If you've got a foundation that's too uh, dark, you can go in and you can lighten it up. If you need to create a tint, add a bit of white. If you need to create a shade, add a bit of black. It really allows you to make your makeup kit bionic because you can blend any color into place. I also love to use some of the colors right from the palette. And so that is the kind of coral shade that Turner, who oversees all of Makeup Forever's Pro in the US can tell you, it's kind of my go-to. I've been using it probably for 15 years. The first product that I ever bought from Makeup Forever in London many, many years ago was the flash color case. And you can see how that just gives you that very natural glow. I'm also gonna take the same brush and the same product and just pop a little color onto her lip. I'm keeping the lip and cheek very minimal because the next product that I'm going to use is a very dramatic shade and one of my favorites. It's Makeup Forever's Metal Powders. The metal powders are so great for this season, for spring right into summer, all over the runway, all over the red carpet. We really saw this embracement of mined metals, coppers, bronzes, uh, gold, platinum, really beautiful way to bring a hint of color onto the skin and lift everything up and make it glow. And once again, I'm gonna to go to a soft brush. Here I'm using brush number 236. It's a little bit firmer than I usually use, but I'm gonna bring this right onto Erica's lid from crease to lash. She has a liner on already. She kind of came in with a black line along the lash line, but I know by bringing in this warm metal powder 
I'm gonna get the lift that I love. Just open your eye there. You can see how you get immediate impact from this color. And just this wash of color from crease to lash is a great way to bring in some of the season's trend in a very simple way. And on this side, I'm gonna deposit a little more so you can see how you can use it kind of as a wash of color for every day or work that into your smoky eye applications at night for the sexiest, most sensual look. What I love about the metal powders is you can mix that into your favorite lotion, your favorite gloss, or you can use it on its own with a brush just to kind of bring a very natural light to an area. I can pop that onto the lip as well. I'm applying it only in the center. And you can see how that just gives me that lift and shine. It looks like it's lit from within. This year at the makeup show, we are really looking at the needs of our clients. We are bringing around a new keynote called The Skin That I'm In. And in The Skin That I'm In, I'm inviting friends and fellow artists to the stage to explore and examine our industry. Are we meeting the needs of our artists and clients of color? In or the Makeup Show Orlando, I'm very excited because I will be joined by Danessa Myricks and Makeup Forever's Nick Lujan. And Nick will kind of tell us the history of Makeup Forever, how Danny Sands has managed to really embrace the needs of this international makeup community. And I'm very excited about that. So this is a very easy makeup application while we have a few minutes in the store. I do not want you to think that Makeup Forever is always about the over the top. This year, the Makeup Forever Academy joins Makeup Forever at the Makeup Show Orlando. You will see everything that you have fallen in love with from Makeup Forever as far as the body painting and the dramatic effects. But never forget for a moment that Makeup Forever also understands the intricacies of complexion. It is all about finding that makeup that works well for every day and every makeup situation. For more information on Ultra HD, check out the Makeup Forever booth at the Makeup Show Orlando and all of the makeup shows this year. For more information on the Makeup Show, check us out at themakeupshow.com.